Well, just a little update on our uh, petasites here, giant petasites, our butter burr uh, growing down in the deep ravine. It's uh, getting closer to the end of May right now, and this is what they look like. Uh, sorry about all the holes in the leaves. That's the, uh, the snails and the slugs absolutely love these things. They love to eat holes in the leaves. So a lot of banana slugs down here, a lot of black slugs, brown slugs, and big escargot-like snails. So uh, these guys here are a perennial, herbaceous perennial. They flower in the winter time here. So late winter, these guys are blooming. And then after they finish bloom, blooming, they uh, send out these uh, uh, long stems with these giant lily pad-like leaves on them, right? So you have an idea how big they are. Here, check this out. These things are flipping massive. And they love the moisture down here. Behind me, there's a taxodium to stitch them. I don't know if you can see it. There's a really tall bald cypress there, swamp cypress. So these guys will get even bigger and I will be able to stand underneath them. So uh, they're not at their peak right now. They will be in probably another few weeks or so. So uh, I'll come back down here and I'll shoot another video. They're pretty cool plants, aren't they? C can be super invasive if you have them in your garden and you have good soil. They won't even grow in our upper garden. It's too rocky. So down here in this deep, moist, kind of shaded woodsy ravine, they absolutely love it. So I'm actually down here right now spreading palm seeds. I got uh, thousands of palm seeds I'm spreading around in here. And uh, this ravine is full of palm trees. As you know, these are Trachycarpus fortunae palms. I've been spreading sowing seed down here for uh, a long time now. So there's some pretty nice sized palms growing along the creek bed here. Anyway, folks, try these in your own garden, but keep them contained. Otherwise, you'll be cursing me and this plant when it takes over your garden. And this is like really nice uh, forest loam down here. Really foresty uh, loam and moist and rich. And uh, lots of horsetails and stuff growing down here. So we don't want to be taking this soil up into the upper garden, but this is what they look like. Aren't they awesome? There's the swamp cypress. And uh, it is a jungle, giant jungle-like plants. That's what I like to call these things, giant jungle-like plants. So that's Petasites, Japonicus, or Butter Burr. All right? Try them in your own garden, folks, in your own exotic garden. But like I say, contain them. Cheers to you. Thanks for watching.